Hi, I'm Tony Davis, Vice President for Enterprise Management Solution Strategy at CA Technologies. Today I'd like to talk to you about ensuring the consistent quality of your end user experiences, even as the complexity of your IT environments continue to grow. I'm also going to invite you to participate in our new CA Fellows program, which offers you a great way to get actionable, high-value insights from fellow professionals who are actually succeeding at service assurance and other enterprise management disciplines in the real world. So let's start by talking about what most IT organizations do and why it doesn't really work. Most IT organizations, whether or not they realize it, focused almost exclusively on component availability rather than true quality of experience. They monitor each tier of their environment to make sure it's up and running, and if it is, they figure they're doing a good job. The problem, of course, is that you can achieve decent availability metrics for all these individual tiers, but still wind up with customer experiences that are frequently painful. And in fact, the end user experiences that most IT organizations deliver are often much more painful than they realize or want to admit. Now, frequent painful customer experiences are really, really bad thing. They drive customers and their money away from you and your company. They cause people to say bad things about you in public. They undermine the credibility of IT so that the business views IT as a less than totally trustworthy partner. That's why we definitely have to reduce painful customer experiences to an absolute minimum. So let's take a moment to define what good customer experience is. Good customer experiences occur when every link in the service delivery chain performs properly. These links, by the way, are not just infrastructure components. They include the calls, methods, and other activities of software code that are not monitored typically on enterprise management consoles. And it's not enough for these links to simply occur or be available. They also have to perform to the required level and they have to actually be accurate. That is, they have to retrieve or display the correct data in the correct way. In other words, a successful customer experience occurs when every link in the chain is available, performs adequately, and actually does what it's supposed to do. Reliability, therefore, can be defined as how often you get the customer experience right. Again, we aren't just looking at problems with component availability here, although an unavailable component will obviously result in us having a busted link in our service delivery chain and the total customer interaction. But now we're really looking at all the links in that chain and discovering where they are failing, where they are underperforming, or where they are not doing exactly what they're supposed to do. We get two benefits from this experience-centric approach. One is that we can now actually measure the real reliability of our service delivery. Reliability is clearly not component availability. It is how often something or anything really goes wrong in the end-to-end -end service delivery chain. So now, instead of patting ourselves on the back because we're doing such a great job of keeping our networks and servers up and running, we can take a look at our real problem which is that our defect rate is approaching 10%. I mean, do we really want our customers to have a painful experience 10% of the time? Is that really going to be much of a help to our business partners? But now, here's the good news. This experience-centric approach doesn't just tell us how bad we're doing, it also tells us how to fix the problems. When we look at our defective interactions, we can start to see patterns. In this case, a critical Java method to get customer account information from the mainframe through the SOA layer has been randomly slow all day. With this lead, we can investigate the problem and possibly even discover that something about the SOA interface to the mainframe was changed last Tuesday. So we've quickly found and fixed a real problem that would have completely escaped us if we had relied exclusively on conventional component availability monitoring. I hope you found this quick overview of an experience-centric view of reliability versus the mere monitoring of component availability helpful. I'd like to close by making a few suggestions. First, if you have any questions about anything I've said here, feel free to contact me personally at the email you see on your screen. Second, I invite you to check out CA Technologies Enterprise Management Solutions, which will empower you to achieve the kind of customer experience reliability I've described here and even more something CA calls enterprise reliability. 
Finally, I strongly encourage you to consider engaging with our CA Fellows Program. This unique program connects you with successful in the trenches practitioners who have faced the same challenges you face every day. These are not just consultants. They're IT professionals who are just a little further along in the evolution of their management processes and practices, and they're ready to help you evolve along with them. Plus, in many cases, this type of an engagement with CA won't cost you anything. So please visit the URL on your screen for the program and consider signing up today. That's it for me. Again, I'm Tony Davis. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to hear from you personally soon.